Welcome back future medicos. In today's video, we are going to address a question. What is bank guarantee? Why do colleges ask for bank guarantee? Which kind of colleges do ask for bank guarantee? And how do I get a bank guarantee? Is it really necessary? Right? These kind of questions we will try to answer in this video. First of all, which kind of colleges do ask for bank guarantee? Typically, private colleges and deemed universities do ask for this kind of bank guarantee. Of course, not all private colleges and not all deemed universities ask for it. Few private colleges or private colleges in few states and some deemed universities do ask for this bank guarantee. For example, private colleges in Andhra Pradesh, private colleges in Telangana, private colleges in Chhattisgarh, most of the colleges in these states do ask for a bank guarantee. And some of the deemed universities, of course, ask for a bank guarantee. Now, why do they ask for a bank guarantee? Right? For example, I join a private college. Let's say the fee is, uh, let's say, 15 lakhs per year. I need to pay them. Now, we need to pay this for maybe like four and a half years or five years, depending on the college. And let's say I join the college, the first college, somehow I make money, right? I collect money, I get some loans, I join, I pay 15 lakhs and I start doing the college. When it comes the second year, I'm not able to get money, right? I don't have the capability, I don't have the capacity. Financially, I'm not sound to pay so much fees. First year, somehow I made that money, right? But second year, I have not planned. I thought I could make it up, but somehow I cannot make it up now. Now I go and tell the college, sorry, I cannot pay the fees. I don't have money. Now what the college can do? At the most, the college can ask, suspend you or the college can dismiss you. The college can tell you that you cannot write the exams, but that one seat will be locked. They cannot get another student for that seat because that seat is locked for five years. And in case if the candidate is not going to pay the fees, that's going to be the loss for the college. That's how many colleges look at this. So they want some kind of risk management. They want to protect themselves. They want to ensure that they get the fees even if the candidate fails to pay the fees in the second year or third year. Now, how do they protect themselves? They want the candidate to produce a guarantee from the bank. Now, what is the bank guarantee? The bank actually gives a guarantee on behalf of the student and it tells the college, don't worry, you can admit this student. If this student does not pay the fees in the second year, I will pay the fees, right? That's the guarantee given by the bank. Now you may ask, why should your bank give that kind of guarantee? Of course, they will not give you for free, right? most of the banks will give you the bank guarantee against maybe a fixed deposit. Say for example, if you need to give a bank guarantee for one year fees and the fees is let's say 12.5 lakhs, then the bank may ask you to deposit 12.5 lakhs and they may also ask you to pay a fees for the bank guarantee and based on that they will give you a letter and the letter can be submitted to the college stating that in case I don't pay, the bank will pay for you. And generally, this bank guarantee will be valid for five years. So if you are joining today, that is 2022, the bank guarantee will be valid for 2027. If you miss paying the fees any of the year, the college can write a letter to the bank to release the money. That is as simple as a bank guarantee. So it's basically a protection for the college from the candidate not paying the fees. Now, how much is this bank guarantee? Generally, most of the colleges that are asking for bank guarantee, they ask for one year fees as bank guarantee. Very few colleges ask for two years bank guarantee, very few colleges. And some deemed universities also ask for the entire remaining three and a half year fees. So you need to find out from the college how much is the bank guarantee? Because if you need to uh, give a bank guarantee for three and a half years, it's not going to be easy. And that too, like deemed universities, if the fees is like 15 lakhs or 20 lakhs, that means you need to keep aside an amount of like 60, 70 lakhs 
and then only you can get the bank guarantee. So be careful, uh, find out uh, whether the college wants a bank guarantee. If they want a bank guarantee, is it for one year, two years or three years? How many years they want a bank guarantee? You can also check with the bank. Generally, it's easier to get a bank guarantee against a fixed deposit. But some banks may also provide a bank guarantee against some kind of collateral, right? Maybe like some asset. Generally, they want a liquid asset, but you can check with your bank manager and then find out exactly against what kind of collateral they can give you the bank guarantee. Because putting a FD for a big, big amount is going to be very difficult, right? That's going to increase your upfront cost. So find out from the bank whether there are any other ways to get a bank guarantee for your profile. Again, it depends on your profile. Okay, if your profile is not so good, then they may not give you without a fixed deposit. So find out from them, right? Now let's see some format, right? I will show you the format, how the bank guarantee looks like. Okay, you can see here, this is the bank guarantee um, asked by colleges in Chhattisgarh, right? This is a sample I have taken from Raipur Institute of Medical Sciences. This is the format. They want a guarantee for one year for just the tuition fees, right? In Raipur, last year, the uh, tuition fee was 656 So they want a guarantee for 656 So at the time of joining the college, you will be paying the first year fees. And you also need to produce the bank guarantee for the second year fees. Now you can see here, the guarantee coverage duration is for five years. You'll be, this is, for 2021 admission. So from 2021 admission until 2026, they want to keep the bank guarantee, right? Now this is a letter which the bank will give. The bank says, we hereby undertake to pay the sum in aggregate not exceeding rupees 6 lakhs 156 only representing the course fee in the manner detailed below, right? So in case uh, the college asked them, right, the first written demand signed by the college, immediately the bank will release the amount, okay? And when they will release? Until 31st December 2026, any time they can ask and the bank will release the amount, okay? And who will sign this? Of course, the bank official has to sign and generally this will be prepared on a stamp paper and it will be given to the student and the student can submit it to the college. I will also show you another sample from a deemed university. Look at this. This is a bank guarantee uh, format given by Sri Siddhartha Medical College in Karnataka. You can see here they are asking for a bank guarantee for three and a half years. For three and a half years, I think this is last year or the year before, I'm not sure. Uh, for three and a half years, it is 52.5 lakhs. Okay, 52.5 lakhs and you need to provide a bank guarantee for such a big amount. And why they want? They want for the entire remaining period of the course. So even in case if you discontinue after joining, after maybe like you join within six months, you want to resign and then you leave the college, the college will ask the bank, bank, please pay me 52.5 lakhs, right? The entire fee for the remaining years in case if you discontinue. Or maybe like, um, you fail to pay the regular annual fee, right? Every year you are supposed to pay a fee on a particular date, right? Say for example, you need to pay the fees by 1st July 2022 and maybe like um, even until 31st July 2022, you have not paid the fees. What the college will say? He will write a letter to the bank. They will say, hey, this guy has not paid me one year fees. So please pay the first installment of 52.5 lakhs. So you can see here in this particular case, they are also eligible to ask for uh, partial payments, right? You can see here, uh, the bank undertakes to make part payment also in each year when required against this guarantee as and when demanded by Sri Siddhartha Medical College, okay? So this is actually uh, once again, the signature of bank authorities. So this is bank guarantee. So I hope it makes very clear to you what is bank guarantee, which colleges do ask for bank guarantee, and then how do you get a bank guarantee, and what is the format typically, right? The college will give you the format.
it's always better to be prepared at the time of admission because many colleges may say that i will not confirm your admission until you give this bank guarantee so it's always better uh, try to do the research find out the colleges whichever you are interested whether the colleges ask for a bank guarantee and if yes immediately go and talk to the bank manager what is the procedure and then accordingly you can follow right i hope this information is sufficient i hope this information gives you enough details for you to explore further right thank you bye bye